Hey everyone and welcome to the eBat tutorial. Today is going to be a fantastic little tutorial to show you ways of upscaling both your backhand and forehand strokes. And you can do it at home, which is awesome. So if you saw my challenge a few days ago on Friday, you'll understand potentially what's about to come. Okay, so tip number one, understanding that the ball is round. I know that sounds silly, but what does it mean by the ball is round? It means that we want to try and go around the ball to generate spin. Many of us naturally go through the ball and when we're going through the ball, it's as if we're penetrating the ball like that. Therefore, we are not able to generate rotation. If we want to generate rotation, we've got to make sure that we're caressing the ball to generate a specific or certain type of spin. So as I said, the ball is round. We need to understand the different contact points on the ball will generate different type of energy, which will be explained in part two. Tip number two is knowing how the three strokes look like in motion. We have the first contact point is the back of the ball, so you can potentially produce lots of topspin or through the ball. Then you've got the contact point which is in around this zone over here. On a clock face it would be in and around 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And then you're generating all the forces, speed, spin and power. And then you've got the top zone which you can generate lots of top spin and speed, but the force is more downwards and you're not generating forward momentum. Let's have a look at how they all look like in action. Back of the ball, lots of spin. Lots of spin and power. Number two, contacting the ball in around 10.30, spin, speed, and power. Number three, producing lots of topspin by going on top of the ball. Tip number three is developing these strokes technically. Your stroke should be a movement on the forehand side with a body rotation, loading the legs, and then transferring the weight from, for me as a left-hander from my left to my right. The other element is learning how to have two speeds with the arm, slow then fast, slow then fast. And all those need to be in harmony, in sync. They have gotta to work together for you to have maximum energy on your stroke. How can we develop this? You can do this both on your backhand and forehand. Practice your forehand. First, I would start nice and easy. Just catch the ball normally with all your hand. Then you can step it up, maybe try and catch it with four fingers. And then you can step it up again, catch it with three fingers. And then you can go to the highest level, which is just two fingers. So I'm here, and that's definitely a lot harder. The beauty of trying to catch it with only two fingers, it really focuses your eyes to follow the ball up until point of contact. And that's where a lot of us tend to either miss hit or completely air ball, not even touch the ball, because our eyes are not following the ball 
long enough, meaning we track the ball here and then once it's gone to this zone, we take our eyes off the ball and look at our opponent or where we're going and then we miss the ball. So this exercise here that you're doing now can really help you track the ball up until point of contact. Now, you don't need a bat for this, and all you need to be doing is going towards the ball as if you're playing a backhand, and then you catch the ball. And this is teaching you how to stay relaxed and squeeze at contact point. And that squeezing motion elevates the speed of your arm and keeps control of your arm as well. Because a lot of players, what they do is they either stay relaxed the whole way through, and then they lose control of the arm, or they either squeeze too early, and then they're tense, and they can't produce a high quality stroke. So you've got to make sure you're relaxed and then you're a little bit more tense uh, at contact point. Okay, so you get into a good ready position and you just catch the ball. And what will happen there is because you're catching the ball, your arm will squeeze, your, your hand will squeeze at contact point. And that's what the feeling should be like, a squeeze at contact. So I'm here and I catch the ball. Remember, you want to try and start behind the ball and then accelerate to it and catch it. So here, catch. Again, I'm here, catch. A higher quality backhand focuses mainly on these two fingers, your index finger and your thumb. And at contact point, both of these squeeze. So if you can, try and practice dropping the ball and then catching it only with these two fingers. So again, I'm here and I catch with these two fingers. And that's what should happen in a proper backhand topspin stroke.